Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you how many lumens you need for your projector, what a lumen is, why all lumens aren't created equal, and how you can hack a little bit more brightness out of your projector without increasing the lumens. Before we talk about how many lumens you need for your projector, we first need to talk about what is a lumen. A lumen is a measure of brightness coming from a light source. An example would be a light, the sun, a projector, a flashlight, anything like that will have a lumen rating. Now when it comes to projectors, not all lumens are created equal. There's two main types of lumens that get measured for projectors. There's white lumens and there's color lumens. A lot of projector companies will just market the white lumens that come from a projector, but it's very, very important to look at the color lumens as well. If you don't have a good color lumen rating, then you won't see the colors as bright or as vivid, and it won't look as good compared to a projector that has a high color lumen rating. So when you compare your projectors, you want to try have an equal white lumen rating to your color lumen rating. For a projector like this, this has 6,000 white lumens and 6,000 color lumens. That means that it has very bright and vivid colors all the way around. It's a very evenly rounded projection. Now, how many lumens do you need for your event? We're going to talk about three different types of events. Two of them are kind of similar. We're going to talk about outdoor events, we're going to talk about indoor events with a high amount of ambient light, like a hall or a wedding venue. And we're going to talk about indoor controlled environments, such as a conference room, where there's no exterior light, there's no ambient light. It's just a room with four walls that you can control the light completely. So if you're talking about outdoor projection, I recommend that you go with a 5,000 lumen projector, like this one in front of me, for an outdoor projection screen of up to eight feet wide. That will get you a projected image onto a screen about an hour before sunset. If you're trying to project an image onto your screen before an hour before sunset, I highly recommend that you consider either renting a TV for your event or using an LED video wall. Both of those options are far better for your event. Outdoor projection is pretty much a no-go for any event during the daytime you would need an extremely high projection rating at the point that it would be way more cost effective to use an LED video wall or a TV rental. So please consider those if your event is outdoor during the day. Now this 5,000 lumen projector here will get you a good image on the screen uh, about an hour before sunset. So if you're doing an outdoor movie night, this will get you an hour more video time compared to a 3,000 lumen projector. Now you might be able to limp with a 3000 projector if you're completely willing and able to wait until after sunset. This little 3000 lumen projector will work great on an eight foot wide screen that's super popular at weddings and backyard movie nights and that type of event. But if you wanna get a jump on it, if you wanna keep your wedding on schedule and those types of things, you definitely need to have a higher projector rating. Now, if your event is indoor in an environment with a high amount of ambient light, like a hall or a, a golf course or something like that with a lot of windows, it really does depend on the amount of windows in that hall. If you have a ton of windows as to make it look like it's an outdoor event, then again, I highly recommend that you go with the TV. Now, if it has a medium amount of windows, which is hard to judge, but if it's a typical like wedding hall where there's one wall of windows, we highly recommend either a 5,000 or a 6,000 lumen projector for daytime projection inside on an eight foot wide screen. Now obviously if you go with a smaller screen, you can go with a bit smaller projector. So if you go with a six foot wide projector screen, you could probably limp with about 4,500 lumens. If you go with a 10 foot wide or 12 foot wide screen, I would highly recommend getting 8,000 lumens, maybe 10,000 lumens. Now you can see the cost starts going up exponentially once you're trying to get a bigger screen in those environments that don't have controlled amounts of ambient light. So now let's talk about an indoor event in a controlled environment like a conference room. You can get a 6,000 lumen projector all the way up to 16 feet wide if you can control the light down to like a dinner level setting. 
If you can use stage lights to make your stage bright and you can keep the room quite dark, you can save a lot of money on projection. If you want a high amount of ambient light on the room, if you want the ballroom lights on full, then you probably need something closer to eight or 10,000 lumens for that large 16 foot wide screen. Then if you have that high ambient light uh, mount, then you can use a 6,000 lumen projector for something that's maybe 12 feet wide instead. Uh, and then 5,000 lumen projector would do well for a 10 foot wide screen and a 4,000 lumen projector or maybe even a 3,000 lumen projector would do well for an 8 foot tripod screen. Again, just depending a little bit on what the lights are set to inside the venue. But we regularly use a 6,000 lumen projector on a 16 foot wide projector screen. Uh, if we can control the light inside the venue, it looks great. We've never had any complaints, but again, we are using a high quality 6,000 lumen projector like this Epson here beside me that has a really, really high color rating compared to some other brands of projectors. Some 6,000 lumen projectors will have 6,000 lumens of white, but they'll only have like 3,000 or 4,000 lumens of color, and those just won't pull it uh, compared to this. Now, a couple hacks that you can use so you don't need as much brightness for your image. Uh, one is to use high contrast images. That means that if you're doing an outdoor movie night or something related to an outdoor event, uh, an animated film or animated images will show up much earlier than real life film where there's faces and real camera work being used. Something like a live action film. If you're watching the Avengers, you're really gonna have to wait until it's later on in the evening until you can see the detail that the film creators have put into a film like that. But if you watch something like cartoons, you can get going a lot easier because the cartoons have such high contrast color that you don't need that raw amount of brightness. You can cheat it just by seeing the high contrast between the colors that are on the screen. Another hack to help save you the amount of lumens that you need for your projector is to use a short throw lens. If you can shorten the distance between the projector and the screen, that means that there's less light interference going between the beam of the projector and the screen. If you use a long lens and a bright projector all the way to a screen, there's so much room for light interference that a lot of those light waves just don't make it to the screen. If you can get that projector closer, use a wide angle lens, then you can get away with a projector that's not as bright because it has less material, less atoms to project through to get to the screen. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other tips or recommendations for types of projectors to use in various venues, I want to hear what you have to say. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.